in 1951. The shadow of death fell on a large monastery in the Romanian village of Carta. The people of that village used to thought the monastery was cursed. So they would not come around this monastery. In the darkness of the night, two sisters are moving forward to a closed door with frightened eyes. A sister with a special key in one hand and a lamp in the other hand. As soon as she reached the closed door, she said that to the another sister, Today we have to sacrifice ourselves. Otherwise he will kill everyone. God ends here was written on the closed door. In other words, the power of God ends here. The sister who holding the key gently opened the door and entered. Meanwhile, the other sister began to pray, as if Jesus saves them. You know what you have to do. The other sister quickly ran away with the key and stood in front of a large window. He looked back once more. A black idol is coming towards her from inside the darkness. Suddenly the sister jumped out the window. The next morning a farmer saw a body of a nun hanging in front of the main door of the monastery and fled in fear. Meanwhile, Vatican City Chief Priest Bishop is worried about the suicide of a nun at St. Carta Monastery. He hired a priest named Anthony Buck to investigate the incident. He ordered another sister to accompany him. Her name is Irene. Sister Irene had some special abilities, the most important of which were, her senses were very active so that she could sense all kinds of evil things happening around her and she could know in advance what would happen in the future. Even she could often see the spirits. Priest Anthony Buck and Sister Irene arrive at St. Carter's Monastery. They enter inside of the monastery and feel some evil force around them. It was evening. It was time for all the nuns of this monastery to pray. So then priest Anthony Buck and sister Irene came out of there and a guest next door takes up position in the ashram. At midnight priest Anthony Buck saw a boy and said. Daniel. You are here. After seeing Daniel, an incident comes to priest Buck's mind. Priest Buck was then in charge of a church in Lyon, France. Then there he did exorcism of a little boy. A terrific spirit possessed him. <coughs> During exorcism, there is a lot of pain in the body where the soul takes refuge. And this little boy could not bear the pain and died. And after so many years that boy is standing in front of him. Suddenly the boy then fled from there. Priest Buck then follows her. Priest Buck discovers the boy in front of a grave. Going to the boy, suddenly a snake came out of his mouth and attacked Priest Buck. Just then Priest Buck fell into a coffin and the face of the coffin stuck. Meanwhile Sister Irene sees in her sleep that Priest Buck is in danger. She immediately woke up and went out to save Priest Buck. 
She finds the coffin through her strange powers and rescues Priest. Looking inside the coffin, they see a skeleton and some very old books lying there. They return to the guest house with all the books. Nothing much happened to them that night. The next morning again priest Anthony Buck and Sister Irene entered the monastery. Sister Irene went to the nun's place. At the main hall of the monastery, priest Anthony Buck began to read the books found inside the coffin last night. Meanwhile, a sister met Irene. She brings him into a room. This nun's name is Sister Juana. Sister Irene asks the nun about the unusual nature of this monastery. Then Sister Juana tells him an incident. Many years ago this monastery was a palace. This palace was built by the King of Carta at that time. He was a worshipper of devil. He used to kill people inside this palace and worship devil. One day a portal with hell opened here and from there a terrible spirit was coming. Just then the soldiers of the church came and killed the king. The spirit was trapped there because of the blood of Jesus Christ and the portal was shut down. But this monastery was vibrating and broke in different places due to world war. And with that the portal opens again and the soul is released again. Meanwhile, after reading the books, Priest Anthony Buck found out that the spirit of black power is Valak. Rich in the power of poisonous snakes, he can take on any form and harm people. Last night he saw Valak in Daniel's disguise. He realizes that no one is alive in this monastery. Valak has killed everyone. He then starts looking for Irene and finds Irene inside a room and brings her to the front of the main hall. They were shocked to see a nun lying there. Irene is startled to go to the nan, it's sister Juana and she's dead. Then Irene realizes that the person she was talking to for so long was actually a spirit. Suddenly the dead nun jumps out of Irene. At the same time, priest Anthony Buck held a cross on nun's forehead and started reciting spell. The nun caught fire and disappeared. Sister Irene, through her special power, finds the key that will make it possible to open the ark containing the blood of Jesus Christ. The two of them enter a secret room and find the ark. Sister Irene tries to open the ark. And that time the Valak arrives, then Priest Anthony came and stood in front of Valak. Valak pushed Priest Anthony away. <coughs> Valak grabbed Irene's throat and lifted her up. Just then, Sister Irene poured the blood of Jesus Christ over Valak. Suddenly Valak's body catches fire and he is banished from this world forever. And at the same time the monastery of Saint Carter became sacred. <laughs>